Okay, this is uh, the basics of a pars plana lensectomy case. Some of these portions have been sped up just for time's sake. When we start out, we want to get a good view. And so we put our cutter in, and with direct visualization and infusion on, we try to clear out the visual axis. And here you can see uh, we free up a lot of residual lens material right behind the IOL. And now we want to get in, and as soon as we have a good view, we want to perform a core vitrectomy. And this is how I focus the biome. I'll zoom in, focus it on my optic nerve, and then kind of uh, zoom out. Uh, the biome is parfocal with our Leica microscope, and so therefore once you get it focused on the nerve, you can zoom out and have good focus. I free up that big piece of nucleus uh, from the inferior vitreous, and you'll notice I ignore the lens material here at first. I want to perform a core vitrectomy and get that vitreous up, separate that hyloid. This patient fortunately already had a posterior vitreous separation. Now I'm seeing if it's possible to remove this nuclear material with my cutter. A lot of times I'll do a technique where I kind of jam the nucleus into the cutter. Uh, if it's a small fragment or a soft fragment, that wouldn't work with this case. So we're going to need the fragmentome. We'll go back to the anterior segment, and this is really important. Clean up your anterior segment, guys. You want to be able to remove all of that cortical material that can become a summering's ring uh, or can cause inflammation. Uh, go after it. Get it out from behind that IOL. Sometimes it'll actually be even in front of the IOL, and you'll need to go up and around the IOL or go into the anterior segment to remove that cortical material. But you can see we've got it nicely cleaned up. Now I'm going to open up for a fragmentome, and the fragmentome is a larger instrument. I'm going to use a 20-gauge MVR, but enlarge it just a little bit because I want fluid to flow out around my fragmentome uh, uh, shaft as I'm doing my fragmentation so that I don't get a scleral burn. Um, when you have too tight of a seal and you have too much power, you can get a fragmentome burn. Now what I'm doing here is uh, going in and at much higher speed here because I want you to see the entire process. I'm using the frag hand piece to first on aspiration only lift the pieces of nuclear material up off the back of the eye and then engage the frag. Uh, if you find that you're having trouble keeping the nuclear fragments on the tip of your fragmentation hand piece because your power is up too high. So start at a low power, 10, 15, and increase your power if you need it. But the number one problem with keeping those nuclear material uh, pieces on the tip really comes from having the frag power too high. And then last but not least, here we are, we're closing up our sclerotomy, and we're going to close our conjunctiva as well. Uh, really went well for this patient, and they did very well. Do a good conjunctival closure. That's what your referring doctors are going to see. Thank you all for watching.